Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have borrowed my daughter's finest princess regalia and I am hosting the Disney Princess Wax Awards. So you guys voted pretty unanimously last week to do the Disney princesses. So we had 73 total votes last week. 70 of them were for the Disney princesses and three of them were for the greens. So we did the Disney princesses. So I have them all here all four of them and they fought it out this week this was a long wax war and there's a lot of information because these ones were all on the long longer lasting side so buckle in it might be a long video all right so i'll just kind of go through the cold sniffs first or the cold notes so first of all we have happily ever after which is a the cinderella bar this one is actually currently available this one was released on Monday with the Princess Carriage and the Disney Mini Warmer with Cinderella. Those are both super pretty. Um, and as last I checked, they are still available, so definitely run and grab those if you're interested. <clears throat> I do expect they'll sell out on the quicker side. Um, so Happily Ever After is Gardenia, Forget-Me-Not, and Frosted Lemon. <clears throat> and I do get Gardenia. And I don't know what Forget-Me-Not smells like, but there is like another like little bit of a floral there. And I don't get lemon on cold but we'll talk about it on warm. Um, next up we have Mulan, which is true to your heart. This one is Plum Blossom, White Tea, and Redwood. Whoop. I do get white tea. There is a sort of like spiciness to this that I read as ginger, but it could be the redwood and the plum mixing. I don't know. I really like this one. It's kind of like spicy, ginger, floral, pretty. It reminds me of like a bath product I've had before from like Times is the brand, but it's really nice. Next we have Belle. This one is Enchanted Rose. We also had a Beauty and the Beast bar last season called The Last Petal. This is a different bar completely. It's not the same scent, so be aware of that. This is Enchanted Rose. It is Rose Petals, Passion Fruit, and Sandalwood. And this is largely rose. For me, this is like pretty much just rose. Maybe a little bit of sandalwood to kind of like deepen it and make it last longer, but it's, it's rose. Next and last, we have Ariel Under the Sea. This one is Emerald Water, Crisp Green Apple, and Blue Hibiscus. This one is pretty. I get cucumber. And I could see there being apple, but it's a very sweet apple and not a tart apple. Emerald water. It is, an, it is an aquatic scent. I almost get like water lily type notes from it. It's very beautiful. So that is that one. So these are the ladies who did battle this week. And so for this week, I did two separate battles, basically. So I used the two bedrooms that are the same size. So my daughter's room and the office. Um, because they're very similar in size and they are... There's never anything crazy going on in there. Their windows are always closed and it's, you know, yeah. So the first day, the first battle, we did Mulan and Ariel. So Mulan and Ariel went in. Mulan was in the office. Ariel was in my daughter's bedroom. So I will go through... I kept timing notes because, okay, so I did, I did two separate wax wars basically. But I did check-ins at the same time on all of the days and actually both of these battles went on multiple days because these are long-lasting bars it turns out. A um, little bit of a surprise for me. <laughs> um, so most of my week was spent wax warring. Um, so although I'm going to go through the notes by the hour, note they weren't all warming at the same time in my house. It was two at a time but I did the hourly check-ins at the same times both times I did wax wars. So here we go. So at the two hour mark, Mulan. It is a powdery, gingery floral. It reminds me of a Times fragrance. It is medium plus at two hours. Um, it kind of reminds me of, there's a bath salt that Times makes, like T-H-Y-M-E-S. I think it's Kimono Rose. It's really pretty. This reminded me of that a lot. It's lovely. Liked it. Ariel at two hours is a medium 
I'm smelling cucumber and water lily at this point. It's very pretty and smooth. Um, I found it very close at two hours to You're the One from the Valentine's Day collection with that cucumber note and the freshness. They were very close. I probably couldn't have told you which one I was warming if I didn't know. Belle at two hours was medium plus to strong. She was a very perfumey rose, not a natural fresh rose, but like a perfumey rose, kind of along the lines of Simply Rose, but not as strong. Um, I did note that it's kind of like more of a yellow rose scent, almost like there's a hint of sunflower or something in here to make this smell yellow. Um, it's not as strong as Simply Rose at all. Still, it was my least favorite of the four at two hours because I'm not a rose person. So there's that one. Cinderella was a light medium at two hours. It was a pretty soft floral. It was a little bit powdery, but in like the prettiest way possible. Um, there is something a little bit lemony on warm, almost like lemon blossom. Um, it was the lightest out of the four from the start. So that lemon note I'm smelling as lemon blossom, that is actually frosted lemon in the notes. So that lemon note that I don't smell on cold did seem to really bloom right out the gate on warm. So that was nice to smell. Then at four hours, we had Mulan. At this point, she was quite strong. Um, she was definitely wafting throughout most of the house, which is unusual. Usually if I put a wax in the office, it might waft into the hallway, but wafting around the house is, is unusual. Um, it was like a spicy floral, like rose of like a spicy rose and like bright ginger would probably do great in an open layout. I think it would do just fine. Four hours for Ariel. She is a light medium at this point. She's an aquatic sweet floral, very much overpowered by Mulan who is wafting throughout the house. Um, it is a pretty bedroom scent though. Cinderella at four hours was light. It was hard to detect this one when you walked in. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty light powdery floral. It's a very toned down, pretty gardenia scent. I don't normally like gardenia. Gardenia is kind of a powdery floral that I don't personally care for, but I liked it in this. I would warm this again. It was very pretty. Belle at four hours was a medium plus, leaning towards strong. Um, it was very much a perfumey rose. Um, it was kind of loud and in your face, I wrote down, and it was taking over half my house. So this one had a lot of throw, very strong. Um, you have to like rose. You better like rose if you're going to be warming this one. Eight hours in. Mulan is still strong. There's been no change to the scent and it's very nice. It's still kind of plugging along just fine. Eight hours with Ariel. She is light. You can smell it in the room. It's very clean, pretty scent. Reminds me a little bit of aloe water and cucumber, but lighter and more cucumber. So uh, just a little bit fresher and like lighter and waterier. Um, but if you like aloe water and cucumber, you would probably like under the sea. Cinderella at eight, at eight hours is no change. It's light and pretty. And that lemony note is making this really lovely. I wrote down. So... It's light, but it's holding its own and so far at eight hours. Um, so some of them are light and then they're just gone. This one is still holding its own at a light level at eight hours. Bell at eight hours. It is medium plus at least. Um, no change to the scent. It is still very strong rose at that point. Twelve hours. We have Mulan. She is a medium at this point, still very noticeable and still wafting into the hallway. Um, it is still identifiable as Mulan, even at 12 hours. So it is still doing just great. Ariel at 12 hours is light in the room, but very pleasant. Um, still definitely noticeable when you walk in. It's sweet and pretty and fresh. Cinderella is still light in the room as well. So Ariel and Cinderella at 12 hours are both on the light side. Um, this, the longer this one goes, the more that lemon blossomy note is coming out or that lemon frosted lemon note is coming out. It's very pretty and soft. Bell at this point, I wrote down as a medium. This one is just starting to tone down a notch, like just starting at 12 hours. It might even be leaning towards medium plus at this point, but it's at least a solid medium, but it's just starting to kind of come down just a hair. 
then I started these wax pours at the same time every day. So both sets started at the same time. So at the same time every day I went to bed basically. So at 12 hours I went to bed, 24 hours is the next check-in. Mulan at 24 hours we're a full day into this warm it is still a medium. It is still very noticeable and still wafting out of the room and it is still identifiable as Mulan. Ariel, I wrote down, is very light at this point. At 24 hours, there's a very faint water lily floral scent in the air, but it's not really identifiable. It could be any of those similar scents at this point, so I couldn't identify it as Ariel. Um, the fresher notes are now gone, and it's just kind of that water lily note um, or a floral note, and I'll probably change this in a few hours, I wrote down. So at 24 hours, this one was kind of nearing the end of its life, but 24 hours, pretty solid, and it is still going. Cinderella. 24 hours. This one, I was actually up a little bit earlier. I declared this one done at 21 hours. Um, the gardenia note was the final one to fade. And at 21 hours, there was a very faint floral near the warmers, but or near the warmer, but it was so light, you couldn't really smell it in the room anymore. So you couldn't walk in and smell it, but if you were near the warmer, you could kind of get wafts of like gardenia a little bit. But at that point, I thought this one's pretty much done. So 21 hours, I called this one finished. So this one is out of the race for longevity. It is still very beautiful. Bell at 24 hours is still a solid medium. It is rose, just rose, I wrote. <laughs> sort of a perfumey rose, still wafting out of the room a bit. So this one and Mulan are very strong. Now we are 30 hours in with three bars left in the race. So at 30 hours, Mulan is very light. This one died off considerably over the last few hours. I wrote down, it is there's a powdery, soft, sort of florally perfume scent in the air, but it's not identifiable anymore. It is very light. Ariel at 30 hours. Right now, this one is light. It is still, it's stronger than Mulan now, which was strange because this one was never as strong as Mulan. Mulan was very strong at the gate where this one was kind of like a medium at tops. So that was kind of interesting. I wrote down it's a light water lily and it's very pretty. Sort of smells like clean laundry and water lily now. It's light, not identifiable, but it does smell nice when you walk in. So it's doing okay, but it is light at 30 hours. Then we have Belle. She's still a medium, no changes here. It's just kind of plugging away. Um, not much happening. It's just like a very like rose, just doing its thing. At 35 hours, I did the final check-in. Um, Mulan was pretty much done at that point. I declared it finished. I don't think I can smell it at all at this point. Um, so at 35 hours, Mulan is con considered finished. It is our second one out of the race. But at 35 hours, that's pretty insane. Ariel at 35 hours is mostly gone. There's still maybe a tiny bit in the air closer to the warmer, but overall it's done. So at 35 hours, this one was declared finished. Um, there might have been just a teeny bit more scent to it left than there was to Mulan, but it was, it was finished. And then 35 hours, we checked in on Belle again, and she is still a light medium. Um, still smellable when you enter the room. It's no longer wafting into the hallway at 35 hours, but it is rose, and it is still very smellable. I wrote down, I'm taking it out now, but it could probably go for another 24 hours, no problem. So... What happened is I ran out of time. Like, it is Wednesday afternoon as I'm filming this, and I ran out of time. I had to make the video, and it's been like four days of wax warring. So there is that one, and yes, I think you could have left this one in for a lot longer, but clearly the longevity winner is Belle. Um, this is Enchanted Rose. Belle is the longevity champion here. Um, definitely the longest lasting bar, but rose scents tend to be. If you liked Simply Rose, I think you would like this. If you found Simply Rose too strong or too intense and perfumey, try Enchanted Rose. Um, it is still very much a rose scent, but it's a little bit toned down. That sandalwood kind of grounds it, and I think the sandalwood is what's carrying it through, honestly. It's a strong bar. Okay. So now we come to the awards portion of the video. Um, I think we can determine, yes, that Longevity-wise, 
Bell wins. Absolutely. As far as scent throw, where it actually throws the furthest from the space of the warmer, um, Bell was pretty solid and so was Mulan. These two both wafted out of their rooms, so those two are both on the strong throw side. As far as strongest at peak, not necessarily strongest for the longest, but strongest at peak, Mulan. Mulan was the strongest at the peak for me. It was very pretty, but strong. And again, it's like, it doesn't smell like it would be. Like on cold, I would have guessed Enchanted Rose would be the strongest. But this one got quite strong in the warmer and it was a very nice scent. It was very comforting and warm and floral and it was pretty. Which scent had the highest scent appeal for me? I preferred the lighter two, honestly. I think if I had to pick, I would go with more Cinderella, which surprises me because I don't normally like Gardenia, but I feel like we have quite a few of these aquatic sort of floral scents. We have You're the One, we have Aloe Water and Cucumber. There was another one recently that's kind of similar. Can't remember off the top of my head, but we, we get quite a few of these types of scents. So while this is lovely and it did last a good amount of time for this type of scent, um, I think if I had to pick Push Come to Shove, I would pick this one. So Cinderella, Happily Ever After, um, would be my pick for scent appeal. It was the lightest performing of all of them. So it lasted the shortest amount of time by a significant amount. And it was the lightest, probably for sure. But I think I prefer the scent of it overall. That being said, there was none here I disliked. Um, Belle isn't one I would be eager to warm again because I don't like rose scents. As far as rose scents go though, I couldn't have left most rose scents going for 35 hours, and I did with this one. So that tells you something. It was tolerable even for me. So it is a pretty rose scent, um, and yes. So that is the Disney princesses and how they duped it out in my house for four days. <laughs> so now is the portion of the video where you guys tell me what you want me to battle next week. So I've got two stacks here of similar colored bars actually. We have two sets here. We have the melons and we have the apples. So I will go through what each of your options are. So each battle is a three-way battle. Um, so the first one in the melon category is watermelon tangerine, which is currently available. This one is like watermelon tangerine and dewy greens. It's absolutely beautiful. Love that one. Then we have watermelon mint, which was available in Bring Back My Bar last June. And it's like watermelon with like a, a mint to it. Um, I, I swore I had a bar of um, the other watermelon one that was available last summer, but I can't find it anywhere. I must have used it. Then we use, have Mad for Melon. This one is not as watermelon specific, but it is sort of a watery melon scent. So I did include it to round this out. So if you would like to see the watermelons or melony scents battle it out, we have the melons and you can just type that below. Um, as always, voting is open from the time you see this video on Thursday morning until Saturday morning at about 9 a.m. Pacific time. The next option is the apples. So we have Apple Teeny Splash, which is currently available and brand new to the catalog. It is like green apple and like simple syrup. This one's delicious. I personally love this one. Then we have Johnny Appleseed, a well-loved long-standing favorite. It is like a strong like apple scent. Very nice. Then we have Appealing Apple, which is notoriously similar to Johnny Appleseed. It is very similar with just a hint of sweet pea. Also very beautiful. There's that Appealing Apple. This was the scent of the month last summer. It is I'm not sure if this is currently available or not. I don't think it is. Um, but Johnny Appleseed and Apple Teeny Splash are currently available. If you want to see the apples battle it out, put apples below. So again, your choices are for the melons or for the apples, and you can let me know below before Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for voting. Your votes kind of are what makes this move forward, so thank you for voting. Um, thank you for your likes and subscribes. Um, it means a lot and supports helps support my channel, so I appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having a great week. Bye-bye.